Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpio collective. Happy Scorpio season, beloveds. I will you all are enjoying your time, enjoying your season, enjoying your solar returns, your physical days. I will that each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I'm feeling really good. Life is moving and shaking as per usual, and um, I felt inspired to uh, go ahead and do this reading for you all. Uh, we've had a lot of amazing solar returns. A lot of people have been, you know, jumping into the comment section, say, hey, today's my birthday. Hey, today's my birthday. So happy belated to anyone that I may have missed, and happy solar return to anyone whose solar return may fall of today, who may have, um, you know, might be today. Um, I believe Old Dirty Bastard's birthday is today, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I just want to give, you know, give honor and praise to you all. Yeah, today is um, ODB's solar return. So happy, you know, physical day, solar return to Old Dirty Bastard, also known as Russell Jones. Um, so how we doing, beloveds? How y'all feeling? How's that... I will, everything is good, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, um, like I said, I, I shared with you all in a former reading that, you know, I got some good news, so um, I'm definitely getting a sense of, um, I'm not the only one, <laughs> I feel a lot of Scorpios are, are, are right on the precipice of some something new, you know, some new start, some new venture, perhaps new opportunities, new love, interests. Um, just newness. I'm feeling newness. I'm feeling this newness is a result of the work that you have put in, the grind, the dedication, just the focus, beloveds, just the drive. You know, you've persevered through a lot. We've been seeing and hearing, you know, just how much you all have been through and how dedicated you've been to your healing process. And of course, the natural result is you will be rewarded. Um, by your efforts, you know, doing part to your efforts. So I just want to say congratulations to all of you before we even touch the cards, because I feel that's in, you know, that's due, you know, a congratulations is definitely due for a lot of you Scorpios. Now, you know who you are, the ones that have been working and going through and sifting through your mess, healing, you know, from your, your, your traumas, you know, really, uh, putting a lot of, of time and dedication into like healing your inner child, uh, Katara wants to go in there with my daughter. Hold on one moment. Let me let her in. My bad. So, yeah. So, this is a beautiful new uh, time, beloveds. You know, I feel new energy coming in. I feel new starts. Um, I just feel exciting times ahead. Um, coming out of that dark period, coming from up under that cloud, you know, that's been kind of hovering over you. I'm just really seeing, you know, the sunshine sh breaking through. So that's just what I'm picking up. Um, we're going to see what the cards have to say, of course. Uh, to any of you, I want to say, you know, welcome. If you are new, my name is Q. I channel messages, messages. <laughs> intuitively. I am also Claire Audience. So during my readings, the way that it works is I incorporate music into my readings. And um, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, maybe the numbers on the cards, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively. And it all just blends very beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it go, let it flow, let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Um, I would encourage you to check your natal chart uh, so that you could get a more cohesive um, story. You know, so see what your placements are in your rising, what your moon is, um, even in your Venus, if you're interested in love. Um, but definitely, you know, check your natal chart to get a more, um, a broader understanding of who you are and a broader scope overall of, um, whatever it is you may be, um, dealing with. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloved. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in. I don't want to do too much speaking. I want to let the cards speak for themselves. But before we do, you already know we got to do some house cleaning, beloveds. Ah, shake. So we'll proceed with the read after that. Ah, shake. Oh. 
I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So what we have uh, playing on the playlist, first and foremost, the time we have. Um, so we got Jagged Edge. This is called I Gotta Be. And then we have 935 playing on, I mean the 935 on the time clock. So I Gotta Be Jagged Edge. Um, so something with a jagged edge could be very, um, it could, you know, it could be used as a weapon. It could be something that could be deemed like a, a, a knife or some sort of, some sort of weaponry. But with I got to be, I feel like with that eight, um, the eight deals with strength. So I feel like a lot of you felt like you had to be strong. You know, I was speaking to, you know, you really persevering through a lot of, you know, traumas and even healing your childhood trauma. And I feel like you had no choice but to be strong, but to lean in your strength, but to take your power back. Um, I feel that you are seen as strong as well. Like people really, when they see you, they see strength. You you exude this confidence or this strength or this boldness. Perhaps that could be admired. Um, but I feel like you, you definitely had to be strong uh, to overcome some of the obstacles or some of the, you know, circumstances that you have. Um, so you had nothing, you know, you had nothing to lean on but your strength. Um, and you probably had no one to depend on in those moments where you had to be strong. So it was almost like, if I don't do this, um, it's not going to get done. Um, I don't have a team. I don't have a support system. I have to be strong. I got to be strong. So I feel like it wasn't even an option for you to, um, you know, kind of fall into that, into that space where, uh, you gave up. Because if you gave up, you, that was it. So I just feel like you were strong. You know, that 935, like I said, reduces to um, eight. And the eight card in Tarot is the strength card. But I also liken that eight to um, you now receiving wish fulfillment. Because I also uh, look at the eight as, you know, like that infinite supply, infinite possibilities. And I feel like you're getting your just due. You know, this is like karma dharma. So the seeds that you've sowed in good faith, the things that you've done, the good deeds that you may have done, staying in the, on the high road and um, not slighting people or falling into the trap of, of um, you know, doing the tick for playing the tick for tack game. I feel like that's why there's a uh, wish fulfillment or blessings coming in um, and amazing opportunities, golden opportunities being presented to you because you have persevered, as I said. Um, you've showed strength and resilience like none other beloved. So that's just what I am getting from that. And with that jagged edge, I, I, in my mind, I am just seeing like the three of swords, you know, being pierced by a sword, um, you know, jagged edge. So that's what I'm getting. So look what we got on the bottom of the deck of the numerology. It says new beginning. And this is exactly what happens after you come out of very toxic cycle. I was envisioning like, you know, you having a cloud, this cloud that was just kind of following you for a while. You going through a lot of, you know, a lot of difficulties, um, but still moving forward. Still, you know, they say when you're going through hell, you're supposed to keep going. And I feel like that's exactly what you did. And now the sun is breaking through because you have this new beginning. So this new beginning is really a testament to the strength that you've displayed, the strength that you've stood in, um, and just you standing up for what you believe in, being bold, being more daring, um, and not backing down. You know, you've had to really purify yourself in a sense. 
um, get rid of faulty belief systems and ideologies. Um, there definitely was some karmic debts being paid as well, which could be the reason why, you know, um, that dark cloud could have felt like it was just looming over you forever. But now the sun is breaking through, as I said, and you have a beautiful new start, fresh start. And I feel you're moving forward. You could even have, you know, um, manifested some fresh start because the one is associated with that magician. So your imagination, you know, I imagination, your visualization, you manifesting could have been the result of things moving forward, you know, propelling forward for you. So I am seeing that you're getting stronger. Um, that one also deals with the root chakra. So I know you've gotten to the root cause of the issues, which is why you're now, now able to, you know, turn the page, you know, and start a new chapter. You know, things are now um, shifting in your life, pivoting in your life for the better. And I feel it has a lot to do with the changes that you have um, implemented, with the things that you've had to kind of let die within you. And now you have emerged someone new. So that root chakra is, you know, that's the base. So I feel that there is you know, this strong emphasis on you really focusing on your stability, your security, um, you know, even, you know, healing those fat, those past wounds and traumas, which could have been, you know, familial, maybe even love ships that may have failed friendships that may have failed. Uh, maybe things in your career wasn't taking off and you could have felt like a failure, but it's like now there is like you, it's almost like you discovered or realized your actual worth. And when you discover your worth, you don't settle. You don't you don't allow um, things to continue to play out where you are feeling like you're being demeaned or being belittled or unappreciated or devalued in some sense. So I feel this is a new and improved version of you, someone who knows that you can create your reality, someone who knows that you have the ability to transform your life by just changing your 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 mind, changing your perspective and utilizing the elements around you, speaking what you desire, realizing that your word is your wand um, and that you can absolutely uh, manifest by just how you think, by how you speak. So this is a beautiful, powerful energy. Um, we have right now uh, Cleo Soul and the name of the song is called Go Baby. So I feel like you have your ancestors, your spirit team is rooting you on, like really, you know, supporting you and cheering you on and saying, go baby, because now this fresh start is absolutely uh, bringing a lot of joy, peace and a lot of happiness. You know, ones are always very indicative of, you know, changing within, you know, the changes you've made within yourself. Um, when you think of all the aces, that's like a one. Um, and it's just really uh, showing that you have, you know, these these amazing new starts based off of the work that you've done on yourself. I also feel you may have a lot of people very attracted to you at this time as well, you know, because when you exude that confidence and that strength and when you have this this air of 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 um, even just regalness, you know, I, I see someone who's who's like seen as someone that is um, a master, you know, a master of whether yourself, um, a master of a particular skill. Um, it's like, that's a very attractive energy. Someone who knows their worth, someone who loves themselves. Those are all uh, reasons to, you know, find someone attractive, someone's wise dome, um, someone being well, um, well versed or skilled or um, informed, you know, someone intellectual, someone who's experienced, those things can be uh, very much an, a, a, an a, a attractive trait, um, a turn on for someone. And I feel there's someone who's definitely um, desiring you because that's a very felicious number as well, that number one. So what did I say about completion? So this is it. Doesn't get any more clearer than that. I literally said that. So you have karma completion, new beginning. See that? And this is literally, you know, the numbers are interchangeable. So this 10 reduces to one and that one is the new beginning. So you absolutely have come out of that dark period. I was picking up on like, you know, a very cloud, you know, a, a cloud that is like, you know, kind of looming over you. But after that cloud dissipates, it's like, you know, the sun breaks through. So this is a beautiful, beautiful confirmation to what I've just said. So right now we have Dennis Edwards. Don't look any further. So we got Dennis Edwards. You could be dealing with someone named Dennis or Edwards. 
and with that former artist Cleo Soul, her name, her actual name is Cleopatra. So someone sees you um, as a goddess if you're feminine, even if you're masculine, sees you as you know a god, a king, um, you know someone that's royal, regal. Like I said, um, but don't look any further. I feel like there's someone that could be you know coming in. Someone could be coming in, uh, very intentional. Someone could be coming in. And uh, spirit is almost telling you, like, you don't need to look any further because this is everything or this person is every, uh, has every attribute or characteristic you may have been calling for, praying for, asking for. Um, so let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. So when you don't need to look any further, that means something is right in front of you. So something could be hitting in plain sight. You know, this may be someone that you are already familiar with that I'm picking up on. I was picking up on someone being very attracted to you. That number one I was saying is a very felicious number. So someone could be very passionate or, you know, some sort of passion or desire uh, for you. So let's tap in. And that eight also, you know, like I said, indicates, you know, the, there's a wish fulfillment. And these wish fulfillments could be anything, you know, it could be in, you know, the form of love. It could be in the form of new career opportunities, unexpected money, maybe a move, maybe something you've been praying for. You know, you get the answer, you get the final word. But I feel like there's someone also that could potentially be coming in. Um, so we have on the bottom of the deck, we have 37. It says time out. So this is the overall energy as you have absolutely been taking a time out, especially after completing a karmic cycle. We also have 55 adventure here. So after that dark period, after going through or growing through, you know, that dark night of the soul journey, now you have um, an exciting um, new beginning. You know, this is uh, you really being more spontaneous or someone coming in and pulling you out of, you know, your comfort zone, bringing a lot of excitement and joy uh, with don't look any further. I feel like this may be someone that's already in your cipher, someone that you may already be familiar with. Um, maybe you've already bumped into someone that has, you know, kind of taken you, you know, kind of like taken you out of your comfort zone, like maybe gotten you, you, you could have been very, very reserved, especially when you're, you're, you're in a karmic cycle, you kind of are more, um, introverted and maybe now you're starting to find yourselves, uh, you know, kind of breaking out of your shell and getting out there more, maybe socializing, going out with folks and, and, and just doing little things. But I feel, you know, whoever this is, um, that's coming towards you is matching your fly um, in terms of lessons learned in terms of you know really focusing on honest honing their skills like maybe you know building up their wealth of knowledge or maybe this is someone you may bump into um, at school if you are in school or someone you may bump into in an online learning course um, but I do get a sense of like this being someone who's a mature man a mature woman um, someone that's very um, expressive you know artistic or creative someone that is absolutely a divine feminine or masculine we have 10 10 here so you both are ob obviously mirroring one another um where you both could have you know come out of a dark period and now there is you know kind of like this fresh new start and you're both seeking um some change seeking a little bit of adventure after you know probably having 10 years of drought <laughs> you know, talk about some of y'all could have been celibate um, for that long. And now you have someone who's kind of, you know, coming in and, and, and you both are, you know, the, 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 the attraction grows to where there may be some intimacy, but with this 37, I feel like, you know, this is saying that, you know, that time out, that pause that you took to really work on yourself, to assess yourself is coming to an end because tends denote an ending. Um, and that 10 breaks down to one, which we just saw. And now you're on the precipice of this fresh start. I feel like there's been a lot of epiphanies or a lot of uh, things that may have, um, you know, you may have come into to um, awareness about that you may not have seen or heard in the past. But I feel like you have, you know, this very epiphanous moment where, you know, things are starting to to um, make sense or things are starting to kind of get uh to that place where you you feel like you have some some footing now um we have um mace cameron and jadakus and this is called glh um i don't know what glh means so you could be dealing with someone whose you know um initials could have a g an l or an h first middle or last uh someone could be from harlem new york 
or from um, Yonkers, New York. Um, but I'm absolutely getting like there's a fresh start, you know, this period where you've been kind of like introverted or kind of in solitude working on yourself. Um, now there is, you know, this this forward movement um, and who or what you're attracting to you is someone that wants to bring some excitement. I feel there's going to be some conversations kind of flowing back and forth. I'm hearing Greg. I'm hearing Larry, Lonnie, Lamar, um, Leonard, Latifa, um, uh, Lisa. Um, I'm hearing Harry, Henry, um, Helen. I'm hearing, um, I, I'm, I heard Lonnie. I don't know if I said that. Lonnie, Liam. I heard Liam. I heard Gregory. Gavin. Javante. I'm hearing G, like someone just goes by G. Someone may go by Lee. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's tap in, beloveds. <clears throat> so let's see, who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? So this card fell in my lap, and we're going to take it. And so we have three creativity. So this is definitely tapping into that, that energy of creation. The divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to create. This is the number of the empress. So someone is absolutely attracted to you, drawn to you, you know, because who or what you're attracting to you is um, in this energy. They're coming into this, you know, this, they're having some sort of illumination or clarity. Um, this is that same person here that you could have been, you know, um, you know, um, you know, the, the, the same person that I was picking up that, you know, maybe coming out of uh, a dark period where, you know, now there's like light at the end of the tunnel. I definitely feel if this is someone you're familiar with, because we got the 44 environment and then the train just went by. So that does denote like there's distance or tra like there's distance or no contact, no, no communication. There may be distance emotionally or just like communicatively no communication with this three and one this reduces to four so i'm picking up like a masculine who is very attracted very drawn um to you know this feminine energy this is a beautiful energy of you know maternal energy a nurturing energy a loving energy but this is also someone who's reached that level of self-mastery the empress and the emperor uh, embody all of the characteristics and the attributes of all of the kings, all of the queens. So that's why they have reached that level of self-mastery. They have a deeper, more profound understanding of the world and how to navigate the world. Um, but they're also very creative. They're also very powerful. They know their worth. They don't settle. Um, and they are, you know, you know, master manifestors. So they know that they can, you know, set their minds or in, set their intentions and manifest what they desire into this reality. But someone is very much uh, clear as to the attraction, the love, um, the fire and desire. Someone definitely sees you as very strong. This three uh, is telling me that someone is trying to muster up their strength and courage because that three does deal with the solar plexus. So they could be really trying to map out and strategize a way to come toward you with this four i'm also getting this is someone that may have held on to you for a while because we have four 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 so this could be like a divine connection spiritual union bond someone that you have a lot of good chemistry or synergy with um this is someone that absolutely loves you because this four also deals with the heart chakra and then we have the double number here this could be someone that you also loved someone that you could have worked with someone you may have lived around someone someone that you may you know like i said you have some sort of history or background with this person someone that you may have planted seeds and roots uh with this person both of you had some healing to do you know i'm seeing the 44 and the 66 both of you had some healing to do you know because this is showing me that there was um, a need for you both to separate so that you can work on yourselves. And now perhaps maybe there's this union, um, you know, this fresh start. This Because I was picking up with someone who had a lot of uh, passion, you know, a lot of desire, you know, uh, for you. 
So let's tap in. So how does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? We got 44 environment. So they feel like you're a wish fulfillment. They're feeling like they want to take action. They absolutely feel like you ground them, that you nurture them, that you you just have a very loving, nurturing um, energy and quality. And Scorpios are, um, when they're in there, uh, you know, vibrating in a high frequency, they are very emotionally intelligent. And so I feel like this person just feels you speak their love language and perhaps they, you know, have been maturing and have learned to speak your love language. What we have playing right now is we have Chucky Booker and this is called Games. So perhaps this person was booking, you know, probably, you know, that runner chaser dynamic. I'm getting the word booking. Someone's name could be Chucky. Um, but the, someone was scared, you know, because I'm thinking of that show. I remember that movie back in like the 80s, you know, Chucky, the little doll that was terrorizing folks. So I'm, I'm getting someone was scared. You know, that's why I was picking up with the three that someone's kind of mustering up the strength and courage uh, because maybe someone was playing a lot of games, very immature energy, emotionally, not on your level. So they could have played games, could have held back, could have, you know, maybe they didn't know how to emote. Maybe they weren't very expressive. And I feel like, you know, this person may have come into some sort of realization during this time of pause, during this time out, you know, away from you, um, you know, that, that there's love here. This is a solid green card. That four deals with the heart chakra and this color green also deals with the heart chakra. So I feel there's been healing on both sides. I feel there's been clarity and illumination um, by whoever or whatever you're attracting to you. They've had some sort of epiphany. And I feel it's because, you know, someone was forced in this time out that's when you are, you know, really assessing and doing introspective work or reflecting, um, especially after some ending. Uh, but you're more so listening to your intuition. You know, you got the three there, which deals with the solar plexus, and then you got the seven, which deals with the crown. So I feel like someone was absolutely, um, you know, listening to their intuition um, and maybe thinking and dreaming a lot about the situation, um, you know, constant thoughts. Uh, running in their mind and that's why this this strength and courage is required but they're also listening to their to that um, you know that 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 instinct you know, you know that that inner wisdom that gumption uh, which is going to you know move them forward because they are aware that there is love here you know like I said this 37 10 1 that 3 4 this is someone that's realizing like oh snap I actually do love Scorpio you know I actually you know, and that's why they've been holding on to you because I'm also seeing like the four of uh, pentacles and I feel like they feel like they've missed some sort of opportunity. Like you're the one that got away. Uh, and with this four, four and that four, I feel like your angels could protect, you know, perhaps be, you know, conspiring behind the scenes um, in your favor, you know, to kind of bring this union back in to alignment with games. 1992, this person was playing games with you. That breaks down to three. Uh, as we saw the, you know, the emperor. So this person is coming into the epiphany that the games they played kind of blew up in their face, you know, sabotaged them. And we have Mr. Magic, you know, so now someone is trying to tap into their, uh, you know, to in, in, utilize that alchemical force to manifest. Someone's tapping into the I imagination, could be visualizing, could sp be speaking things. Like I said earlier, someone's words could be their wand. Your word is your wand. So I do feel like someone is uh, perhaps speaking this connection into uh, fruition or just setting intention or calling it in, praying, manifesting it, mantras, affirmations, uh, whatever it is. But with Mr. Magic, I definitely am getting a sense of like, you know, perhaps there's a masculine that is manifesting something uh, that they desire. Um, if it's not a masculine, it could be a feminine, feminine in their masculine energy. Um, but let's tap in. So someone also sees you as very magical, very mystical, um, very mysterious. You know, I heard magical, mystical, mysterious, you know, and this intrigues them. This draws them in. This interests them. Um, so this 44 environment, they are closer than you can imagine, you know, because I'm seeing the 88. You may receive some unexpected, in, um, you know, unexpected news. I heard income also. So you could be getting some good news about money as well, because that green deals with the, you know, money. Um, so you could be getting some new, uh, a new promotion, pay raise, bonus. Um, you could be receiving like, you know, uh, some good news and pertinence to your career or a business, uh, you know, but I definitely feel there's also like someone that's going to be uh, coming in, that's going to express love, communicate love. So, you know, the 444 that breaks down 
um, to 12. So someone is definitely pondering and looking at things from a different perspective because spirit has really, you know, sat, put someone in a sacrificial position to see things from someone else's perspective. And now they're having that epiphany and that 12 breaks down to three. So they're realizing you are an empress, a goddess. And this person now realizes like they, you're the one that got away. And that's why they're trying to strategize, plan, prepare how to come towards you, muster up that strength, courage, and wisdom, as I said earlier. So how does this person, our beloved Scorpios, are attracting to them feel about them? Let me get a message your peace power protection spirit how does this person have a love scorpios who or what i love scorpios are attracting to them feel about them let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit that four four came right back out so they feel like you are absolutely a wish fulfillment i heard wish fulfillment and i do feel that this person um feels like you match their fly you know they speak your love language. We got 444 on the board. This is definitely a sacred bond, sacred union. What did I say about them wanting to communicate? We got communication here. This is what's hidden. They could be communicating with you telepathically or intuitively or just constantly, like I said, thinking about you. Um, and when someone constantly thinks about you, that means you're in, you know, you, they're, they're carrying you in their spirit. So you're going to pick up on that energy because Scorpios are naturally intuitive. So we got 444 on the deck. So you definitely got blessings and, you know, the protection of your angels, the support of your angels here. Um, I do feel this is a spiritual bond or spiritual union or sacred connection here. There's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of chemistry between the two of you, similarities, commonalities, familiarities, um, like I said, this is someone I do feel you know already. Someone you could have worked with, someone you could have lived around, someone you could have bumped into, you know, on a daily basis. Someone you could have gone to school with, someone you could have grew up with, you know. But this is someone you definitely have history with. They feel now that the two of you are like, you know, that you you match one another's fly. Like they can have that happy house, happy spouse type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you you're absolutely everything that they um, desire with this four. Um, I feel like you will feel the same, you know, I feel like they, they now are open to love, ready to love. Their heart chakra is open. And with this Mr. Magic, I do feel like, you know, this has been manifested. You know, I feel like it absolutely has been manifested. And this is Grover, Washington. So someone could be from DC, Washington, DC, maybe Seattle, Washington. Someone's name could be Grover. Um, so let's tap in. So we got this communication. So there could be a lot of telepathic communication going on. We have 444 four, four and 333 three, three on the board. So look at that. 444 four, four and 333. Three, three. So the Ascended Masters are absolutely, um, they approve this message, this union. I absolutely feel like you all are divinely protected, spiritually guided, you know, that you have a purpose. So this 333 three, three is the number of the Ascended Masters. Um, and that 444 four, four is your angelic. There's an angelic presence. So I absolutely am feeling, without a doubt, that there is something um, forming, something beautiful. This has been manifested. Your prayers have been answered. There's wishes being fulfilled. This is beautiful. You got 333 and 444. Four. Those are angel numbers, powerful angel numbers. And you got three cards that are all solid. You know, this is an all solid yellow. This is solid yellow. This is solid green. And yellows are, you know, really speaking to, um, you know, like I said, illumination, but it's also strength and vitality. Um, you know, it speaks to, you know, like I said, new beginnings even. Um, and that green is really about healing. It's about love. Um, it's about earth, you know, earthing a situation, grounding it. You know, this is beautiful, cultivating a connection as well. So expect communication. This is what's hidden. So you do have someone that is, you know, perhaps trying to work out the kinks to communicate, to reach out, to express themselves um, with that Mr. Magic. They could be let, literally, like I said, the words are their wand. So they could be, you know, trying to, you know, scribe perhaps a pen. I mean, a letter, you know, 333 was just on the clock, 3333. So someone is definitely, that's confirmation. Someone's definitely trying to plan, prepare, strategize. You know, because when I think of the three, I think of the three of wands. It's like you're expecting this because you've manifested it. Um, you know, that's the card where, you know, that gentleman or that, that energy is kind of sitting up on uh, the cliff and they're looking out at the ocean and there's ships docking. So it's like whatever, whatever kite, whatever, um, you know, intention you set out into the universe, that person knew that it was incoming because he's waiting there. So it's like something's manifesting. That's the ready, set, go also to me, you know, 
okay so I'm only taking the card that's upright the rest of these cards so I, spirit wants me to um, to um, expound on the ones that fell and look what's on the bottom of the deck we got the six love so we have six love there so there's definitely love coming in but the card that actually flew out was 91 surrender so I do feel like someone is surrendering to this connection that's the same person I was getting was running um, the, the person that was, cause remember I was from Chucky Booker. I was getting like, someone was booking it and booking it is like running, you know, that's what we used to say back in the days in New York. It's like, Oh, booking it, you know? So someone was booking it, you know, booking it out of there, run a chase, a type of dynamic, dynamic, someone who's playing games, someone who was like emotionally stunted. Um, and now they're willing to surrender. They are coming out of that ego and they are, you know, um, ready to take action, ready to take the leap. This is a new beginning. For someone, you know, because the pride and ego may have had them kind of um, bound and stuck um, in a situation. And now they're willing to surrender because they're no longer trying to control the narrative or control the situation. Remember, all these fours reduces to the um, 12 because four times three is 12. So that's that person that's in that hangman status. And after assessing this situation and looking at things from your perspective or from a different perspective, a different vantage point, they're now seeing uh, you know, perhaps that they've sabotaged something and that's why now they're willing to surrender and not, um, try to be controlling or control the narrative. So the cards that actually, um, spirit wanted me to expound on, we have uh, moderation. So someone has been making the necessary changes. If you look that 14 does deal with the temperance. So this was about divine timing. Someone had to get right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm hearing. Like someone had to get right, right in themselves, right in their hearts. Love is always an inside job. So perhaps this is someone that didn't know how to love you because they didn't love themselves appropriately. And, you know, we all become products of our environment. So if someone had like an estranged mother or father, if someone didn't grow up in a household um, where there was a lot of love, hugs or expressions and things of that nature, then of course they wouldn't know how to emote in a relationship. We have 93 happy ending. So things are absolutely going to turn out um, better than you can imagine. I was telling you that I saw the sun breaking through after that beautiful, I mean, after that dark period, there's like this beautiful, um, you know, sunny, bright you know, energy coming through, breaking through, and there it is. So there's a happy ending, and that's why Spirit is saying, you know, good things take time to create. You know, change is always necessary. Change, you know, um, allows for you to get rid of old things that no longer work and open yourself up to new and exciting things. And I feel like that's exactly what needed to happen here. We also have 41 uh, self-discipline. So there had to be a lot of growth. Like I was saying earlier with that five, five adventure, there was a lot of maturing, a mature man, mature woman, you know, that's what self-discipline is. Whenever you're disciplined, that means that you are, you know, taking onus and accountability. You're doing what you know is right. What's just, you're not just going along to get along or appeasing to please you are, you know, this is about self-respect. This is about dignity. And that's what makes you happier when you stand your ground, stand, you know, perpendicular in your square. We got this 14 and 41, which are another interchangeable. So those were the moderations and changes. When you change, um, then you could start seeing um, things brightening up or, your, or life just seeming, seemingly getting better. And next we have follow your dreams. So this is what, you know, this has encouraged someone to follow their dreams, to live in their truth, to walk in their truth, more importantly, to no longer, you know, live in fear or to be hindered by, you know, by their fears or even by other people, their associations. We have uh, Shaka Khan and this is called Ain't Nobody, you know, and what she says, ain't nobody loves me better, makes me happy, makes me feel this way. Ain't nobody love me better than you. You know what I'm talking about? That's what this person feels. They realize that. So maybe someone has had, you know, like I said, that moment to ponder, to, you know, do that introspective work. And they realize like they never got no love like yours before, you know, and, and this is, you know, what they're pursuing. You're their wish fulfillment, your dream come true. You know, someone's had a major transformation or something really, um, something really, um, perhaps traumatizing or tumultuous has taken place in someone's life because it's led to some sort of death, you know, death of old faulty belief systems. They've transformed in some way and what they have, um, you know, they've emerged, you know, more inspired. They've emerged more encouraged to go after that dream or to live in their truth, to walk in their truth. We also have 66 healing. 
So that's what, this, what that's what's been going on. Is there's been a lot of healing on both sides. I do feel like you're mirroring someone, and someone is absolutely mirroring your energy. And then we also have two patients. So that's what I was saying. Good things take time to create is what I'm hearing very loud in my mind's eye. So let's give the cards a bang, bang, boogie. And then we're going to get our outcome clarified. And then we're going to ride out. So we got the six love here on the uh, bottom of the deck for, you know, the outcome. So you are coming into a sacred union as I was picking up earlier. This could even just be you loving yourself and feeling very emotionally, you know, um, harmonized, you know, in, in, in emotional equilibrium. Um, you've persevered through a lot. See that? It was a lot of, of um, turbulent moments in your life, but you've persevered. You know, maybe a love situation has um, led to this healing. I see 7-7. Seven, seven. So this is also, you know, confirming that you have a, a spiritual connection with someone, someone that communicates with you telepathically. You may dream of someone a lot, or someone may be dreaming of you a lot. So um, let's tap in. So what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get the message for our beloved Scorpios. What is the outcome for our beloved Scorpio spirit? Thank you. Look at that. That flipped over. Follow your dreams. So spirit wants you to walk in your truth, to follow your passion, follow your heart's truest desires. We have 87 synchronicity. Some of you all could be finding feathers, bumping into animal totems, seeing angel numbers. We saw the 333 and the 444 here. So some of you may be seeing that. That number may be very significant to some of you. You may also be seeing 888-777-666, um, 444. I said that already. But um, this is showing that there's something transforming in your life. There is a wish fulfillment coming through. This could be something, you know, relating to love or something that you love to do, a passion, um, you know, a skill that you absolutely love. Uh, maybe it's music. Maybe it's um, the arts. Maybe you are um, starting a business, a brand, um, and the self-love. Look at that. The self-love is, you know, very attractive. This is like a magnet. It, you're also seen as a leader. You're taking control. You took the reins, you're moving forward, but there could be some sort of signs, divine intervention coming from spirit. Pay attention to that because I do feel like that is an indication of something coming in or, you know, maybe that could just be communication from, you know, your angels and your guides giving you instruction. We have Coast Contra and this is called activated. So someone is absolutely activated. I feel like you've triggered someone or someone is definitely, um, you know, someone has been activated or triggered to come towards you, to come forward. So we have four, 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 four here on the deck. I mean, on the uh, board. Um, so that four is very significant. And it could be, you know, confirming that there's a divine masculine. Look what we have on the bottom of the deck. So remember what I said about when you do the work, you get rewarded. The seeds that you sow in good faith. You know, the intention, the dedication, the drive, the motivation, the ambition that you pursue your dreams with, your goals with, you get rewarded. You get recognized. Spirit is recognizing you. So a lot of you are definitely getting some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of blessing coming in. And it's going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness. You've reached the level of self-mastery. That number three deals with the empress. So your angels and your guides are absolutely rewarding you. And I feel like your patience is also being acknowledged. So we have 4-4 four, four again, that 14 and that 3 reduces to 4-4. Four, four. So this is 8. So you do have a wish fulfillment. And Spirit acknowledges your patience. You were very patient. And it's because you knew that, like I said, the seed that you sowed, you see that seed in her hand? You sowed your seed in good faith. And you watched it and you cultivated it and you nurtured it. Nurtured it and you, you know, set the intention for it. And you see that that seed growing right before her eyes. So I feel like, you know, it's almost like time collapsed, you know, because whatever this is that you were manifesting, it's like, there's a quick response here. You're being acknowledged. And it's because you took the necessary time out to nurture yourself, to work on yourself. Good things take time to create. I just lost my deck of cards. I feel like there was a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. You see that? It says conflict and despair. You know, and that's that m mode where, you know, you had to transform your mind, transform your way of thinking. You know, something was activated within you. See that? That triumph. So you've triumphed over, you know, whatever, whatever turbulence, whatever toxicity, you know, whatever cycles, karmic cycles you were, you know, kind of um, navigating. I feel like there's a triumphant and victorious outcome. We already saw that happy ending. We already see 
that you're following your dreams, pursuing your goals, and that you're more assertive this time around. You know, in the past, you could have been very harsh or you may not have been very um, confrontational. So we got a card that flew out and it says memories of love. What did I say about someone taking that time out, you know, to ponder, to reflect? And what they've come up with is that you are, in fact, someone that they want to pursue. Because it's 37, 10, that one and the six reduces to seven. So this is that person, that chariot that's ready to rush in. I feel like they feel more assertive. You know, they feel more confident. They feel more, you know, like they're ready to go get what they want. I also feel this is like someone that, is, like I said earlier, that you know. Because for someone to have memories of love, this is someone that's been kind of holding on. See how this card is sticking out? I feel like that wants to be seen as well. And that's the base chakra. So you see that? We spoke to the root chakra and it showed up. So someone had some healing to do. They had to get to the root cause of why they were um, you know, sabotaging their relationships or sabotage this relationship. And I feel like, you know, just the memories of love that they had with you, the good times, um, those things really are something that they were holding on to. You can see he's holding on, you know, and setting the intention in that candle. Remember we had Mr. Magic. So then these look like masculine hands to me. So, you know, with that one, this is showing that someone really, um, you know, got back to perhaps, um, the root cause of a situation. Maybe they took it back to their childhood, their familial, um, traumas, you know, healing in their family traumas or fam family issues could have really, um, really brought more awareness to their behavior. Um, and this is something that they now, they want to heal. You know, they want to return. They want to, you know, try to recover, reconcile rather this connection. Um, but this is someone that really realizes they love you. You know, this is someone that's definitely trying to manifest you back, trying to uh, call you in. Uh, this is someone I do feel that does have a lot of adoration and a lot of love that someone has realized you are the wish fulfillment. They want to bring stability and security into this connection. Um, and what we have on the bottom of the deck was we have trapped in fear. And remember I was saying someone was a little intimidated by you. Someone could have definitely been a little afraid because look how bright your light shines. You know, you're, you're a bright light. You're very confident. You're very strong, very powerful. Someone is having some sort of epiphany, you know, as to, you know, just how, um, you know, how you like your value, you know, maybe this is something that they didn't see, but th this, this stress that they're causing themselves is really, uh, something that's self-imposed. I feel like they are going to come out of this space. Um, because that 11, I feel like, you know, that this comes to 11. So this is almost like karma. They got instant karma, perhaps by the way that they treated you or the way that they mistreated you. Um, and now they're stuck, you know, kind of riddled with these, this fear, this doubt, these regrets, you know, feeling, you know, heavy remorse, uh, perhaps not resting at night as well. Um, but I do feel like they get some sort of, um, you know, they muster up the strength, you know, to come up out of this phase. We have uh, Donnell Jones. This is called guilt by suspicion. So as I'm speaking to this person, have a remorse. This is someone that feels guilty, you know, for, you know, being perhaps, um, you know, maybe they were, you know, kind of projecting, you know, because you know how sometimes people will, you know, accuse another person of cheating because they're cheating. So they can't see nothing from anyone else's perspective. They can only see things from their vantage point. So if you have somebody that's cheating on you, creeping on you, they're going to always project that onto you and say, oh, well, you're cheating because I saw this, this, and this, and you're, that's the furthest thing from your mind. So when somebody accuses you of something that is not applicable, that's just them, you know, exposing their own um, wrongdoings. You know what I'm saying? That accusatory energy, it's like that used to happen to me all the time with, with my son's father. Um, he would accuse me of the damnedest things. And I'm just like, all he's doing is telling on himself, you know, but I digress. So this trapped in fear energy, you know, fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. So with this three creativity, I do feel like this is someone that's kind of finally realizing, um, you know, the choices they made, the decisions they may have taken, you know, those things could have landed them in this pit, in this place where they are very like, you know, this is discontent. This is boredom. This is a uh, mental conflict. So let's tap in. Why is this, um, Oh, I thought something flew out. Why is this three creativity here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracted to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Because, yeah, this person is guilty by suspicion. <laughs> so they feel guilty. You know, that's the word I'm getting. Someone's name could be Donnell or Jones. See that? So emotional withdrawal. See that? So someone has come, you know, has uh, finally taken onus 
and accountability, trying to heal, trying to purify, trying to rejuvenate, trying to recharge their batteries. I feel like this is someone that has been inspired by you. And look at this deception and envy. So someone was definitely very jealous, envious. That deception and envy card, um, you know, just gives me devil energy. This is someone being fake, you know. This is someone, like I said, uh, with that guilty by suspicion, could have accused you, very accusatory, you know, and it's because they were being deceptive. And it was because they were very envious of your light. I was picking up on that earlier. Like your light, you shined bright. And with this emotional withdrawal, I feel like someone has taken some time to heal. Maybe this is your energy taking that time to heal, to cleanse, to purify. And I feel like your angels and your guides have been, you know, really protecting you. This is, you know, walking in faith and not by sight. This is maintaining that hope and that optimism that things will get better, that things will improve. And this is perhaps what someone was envious and jealous of because you didn't fall into the trap of, you know, trying to appease and please. You didn't fall into the trap of allowing this person's, um, this person's, you know, negativity weigh you down. You could have walked away from this person. You moved on with your life. You know, you, you moved on and moved away because I'm getting move, move away. Like the six of swords, like you moved away, you created a protective uh, bubble for yourself. And, and as you moved away, remember what I said about being in a dark period and then coming into this, you know, the sunshine. And that's what I feel you literally um, have done. And you can see leaves kind of falling from the sky, which means now there's, you know, growth. Now there's this, this breakthrough, you know, this period where you can now, um, become more, um, fertile, you know, where you can flourish, where you could grow. We have, um, we have Fleetwood Mac and this is called dreams. So this person does dream a lot about you. I feel like this person definitely feels guilty because how they feel about you is deception and envy. So this person could be lying. You know, they, they realize they were wearing a mask. You see him lifting up the mask. Um, and this was someone that you definitely were, you know, familiar with. This breaks down to 15, 15 deals with the devil. So they do have some sort of like obsession or obsession. And that's why you created distance and space. The train is going by yet again. That's why you were, you know, okay, thank you. That's why you kind of like went into that hermit mode. And with, you know, with this uh, dreams, this person can't stop dreaming of you, thinking of you. This person is now realizing they were wearing a mask or now realizing, you know, perhaps this love. <clears throat> but like I said, that eight and that seven reduces to 15. That is the devil. So this could be someone that is very like, you know, like spying on you. Someone that was controlling. Someone that could have been very um, just toxic, volatile. You know, always like, you know, like I said, accusatory, projecting, insecure, um, someone who had addictions even, you know, afflictions of some sort. So we're going to let that card fall. This one is kind of about to fall out. I'm going to let it. So look at this. Foundations and achievements is how they feel about you. So they can see this happy house, happy spouse. They feel, and this is 444. So this person who, or what you're attracting to you, how they feel about you is they could, they feel like they could have this happy house, happy spouse. This is someone, you know, like, this is what they want to build with you. This, they feel you're the home, the hearth. They feel like they could have a lot with you and they're trapped in fear because maybe they don't know how to express this or communicate this. They live in their head a lot. This is someone that does feel guilty. So maybe they, you know, feel like you're not going to um, be receptive but this person dreams of this happy house, happy spouse. This is someone that's constantly, you know, um, you know, dreaming about this union or this connection. They could see building a family, building a legacy, you know, um, they feel like this is a solid connection and they want to build. Very interesting. And what's here is we have the eight yet again, trapped in fear. This is for what's hidden. So they will eventually surrender and get out of their head. You know, this nine, nine reduces to nine because nine and nine is 18. That's nine. So this is someone that's finally going to make a change. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. This is that person that could be driving themselves crazy in hermit mode and with dreams, just living in their head, ruminating and pining, but they're finally going to surrender, which means they're going to take action because this 91 is one and that's an action oriented number. So they will take action. They will assert themselves. Why is this 91 surrender card here? for um, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. So we have a lot of 
cards that flew out. We got this rejoice and celebration. I see a reunion. I definitely feel that there's some sort of reunion coming, but they're going to take their power back. They're going to step in their power. Remember what I said about you even, you know, owning your power, being bold, you know, being fearless. So whoever that was that was like living in fear, they're going to be bold. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. And this power shows the strength. I was speaking the strength earlier because we opened up the reading. So this eight, this is someone that's, you know, half man, half amazing. <clears throat> My throat is getting blocked. Someone may have, you know, difficulties expressing themselves. <clears throat> and we have Donnie Hathaway. Someone could be dedicating a song for you. Or maybe there's a song that this person listens to and they hear, you know, and it, it makes them think of you. We have the sacral chakra, number two. We also have wise dome at five, spiritually wise. Someone has been learning. Someone has been learning. Someone has, you know, kind of gotten rid of the ego, gotten rid of, you know, that false um, pride and ego. They've gained, you know, they, this is wisdom. You know, this is what this person was envisioning. Remember when I was saying someone was envisioning this and you see that beautiful sun and the rainbow. This is literally what this person has learned is like, this is what they want. This is what they desire. This also speaks to marriage. There could be mar marriage in your future. This person could have been a runner, someone booking it, you know, non-committal, afraid. And now it's like they're standing in their strength, standing in their power, standing on their square, you know, because this too is really about, you know, finally doing things the way you see fit, moving to the beat of your drum, prioritizing you, not trying to control things. Someone made their healing a priority. This two and one, that's three, that three and eight, that's 11. So this is a karmic situation, or this is, um, you know, definitely like something coming full circle, a truth coming out. Because when you think of justice, it's like, you know, that's about truth and justice. So someone could be expressing a truth. Someone has learned a lot. You know, that five also deals with the throat chakra. So this person is coming back more mature emotionally. And I feel like that's why there's a rejoice and celebration because when this person comes back right, you know, when they come back and, and, and display, you know, um, you know, that they've learned some sort of lesson, that they are more mature emotionally, that this can, you know, really speak to, you know, some sort of fresh start. But I feel there's also celebrations because things are working out in terms of, like I said, whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you've been calling in. Uh, whatever wish fulfillments it's like you know there's definitely celebratory moments um where you're cheersing where you're drinking some champagne you know and you're just enjoying good company maybe you're socializing hanging out with you know um your peers again your family whatever it is but i feel like you know by you following your dreams and living and walking in your truth um this brings you know a lot of that good energy and you're going to be, you know, really celebrating a lot of wins. Um, I don't feel toxic karmic energy here. I feel someone you definitely could have known in your past. Um, and perhaps timing wasn't, um, you know, the timing of it wasn't right. And uh, so you could have, you know, kind of parted ways. Both of you have been learning and growing and healing. Um, and you are coming back into union. There's something that's going to be... Um, coming full circle again you know that's what i'm seeing why is this follow your dream here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you spirit and this is in my hand so we're going to take it and we have truth what did i say about someone coming back to speak a truth and i feel you also know the truth because you're very intuitive this is someone having a wake-up call that 20 deals with the judgment so someone is awakened up you know they've awakened you know and you see how she's standing on a scale so I feel like this scale is very indicative of, like I said, wanting to restore the balance. You know, the truth will restore the balance within this connection is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So we have financial and material changes. So there are some changes and I hear for the better because with that four and this five, I'm getting the nine of pentacles. So I'm seeing someone very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. I'm feeling like business is flourishing. Things are expanding. I'm feeling this traffic. If you have a business already, I feel like you're getting more um, bookings. I feel like you're getting more um, an influx. I'm hearing increase, um, expansion. I'm hearing wealth. You know, so this is like things are changing and moving and shaking for the better. Um, 
We also have conflict and defeat. So whoever this person is that was feeling defeated and conflicted, I feel like it has a lot to do, um, you know, with their own internal demons and they have to overcome them. And with this obstacles and challenges, it's showing me that, you know, the angels are giving someone angles. You can see like these lights, these orbs of light are shining to show this person that this plank has, you know, this big, you know, there's, there's, there's a, you know, this, this, um, broken plank which could lead to someone falling to their death and you can see these five so this is how someone has been really working through their 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 mess i'm getting like five of swords five of pentacles i'm getting like the five of cups even you know this this defeatist energy is all you know self-imposed this 15 breaks down to six this person that i'm picking up on this is the person is that's moving on they're coming out of that dark period all of these cards you know have like that dark energy you know and this is like when you confront your fears then you can move out of that situation it's just like i said when you're going through hell you keep growing keep going and when you keep going you come you know you finally reach that that destination of you know having that light shine on you but with a song for you i feel like someone could be you know, really listening to a song which gives them motivation or inspiration, but their, their dreams, their goals, their aspirations, their desires are the, the, you know, it's almost like the battery. That's the fuel that keeps them going. But you also have, you know, this person here with this, um, these, you know, these, um, lightning bugs, you know, that are lighting this plank to show someone like, look, this is a broken path. So, you know, strategize, you know, adjust, um, in terms of, you know, how you're going to navigate this. But with 555, five, you know, like I said, that five definitely speaks to conflict, challenges, competition, chaos, a lot of chaos. But there is a death, you know, that death is bringing about, you know, this new change. Six and the four breaks down to 10. Remember, we saw karmic completion. So that 85 breaks down to 13. 13 breaks down to four. 13 is the number of death. So this is the death of the old. That's why you have this 555. 555 breaks down to 15. 15 breaks down to six. So this death, that, that 15 is the devil. So there could have been, you know, a lot of sabotage. Um, someone's seeing the truth, but all together, that's 10. So that's an ending of, you know, a very... Um, difficult and dark period and i do feel like the angels do come through you can even see the angels you know like um you can see these these lightning bugs that's given light that's illuminating the, the path so that they don't fall to them death you death you can see a light here and you can see what appears to be like little you know energies like spirit and that's light as well but this person is going down this is like you know in the sunken place in a place of depression. And I feel like that was that person that we saw earlier that was trapped in fear, um, you know, up in their head about you, about the connection, about themselves even. Um, that person that was feeling very guilty. But I do see that there's a breakthrough. You know, this ending denotes a new beginning. And it's because the truth will set you free. When you start living and walking in your truth, it will set you free. So we have right now, um, we have Mariah Carey breakdown. So someone has like a breakdown, you know, but a breakdown is nothing more than a breakthrough, you know? Um, so let's tap in beloved. So someone does have some sort of like breakdown, but it is a breakthrough for them. So I want to get a couple of messages from Tarot. So look what we have on the bottom of the deck. I love that, that ace of pentacles. You see that? So like I said, there's wish fulfillment. Spirit is blessing you with financial blessings. You're getting rewards and recognitions. We have the 37 and the six memories of love. And then we got the base chakra. So I feel like someone's being acknowledged for the work that they've been doing. We also have the seven of cups. So you see that this is someone that's wearing a mask. This is someone that has, you know, different options and stuff. They have to make a decision. You know, they have to make a decision. All options, when you think of that seven of cups, all of those options that were inside of the cup were not good options. So this is about really being very discerning. You got the ace of pentacles. You got the ten of cups. So this is given that energy there. There's a rainbow there. So there's a positive change. I feel like there's an ancestor. You have a beloved ancestor. It could be a maternal um, figure because that looks like a feminine energy. Or it could be a masculine. It, it, it kind of looks like both to me. But there's an ancestor that's overseeing this, that's bringing you into union. Because remember, you got 444 here for how someone feels about you. So there's some sort of change. Something is breaking down. And, and, and when something is very toxic, it has to be destroyed. And, you know, you have to rebuild. So, you know, it's, it's very much just like that, you know, that 
that whole idea of the phoenix rising from the ashes when something is dead you know then you you know can regenerate and re, re you know have go through that rebirth there goes the six of wands so there is a marriage in the future i feel like someone is returning i feel like there's some sort of major breakthrough some sort of major um victory a triumph over your adversities that's being acknowledged i see the three of cups and i see this queen of wands and there's a black cat some of you could have a black cat and this black cat is looking um as if you know it's a it sees something so you know cats are very intuitive they're impervious to threat so i do feel like spirit is you know again just saying that you are very intuitive i feel someone also wants to communicate but they're stuck you know, you can see this could have been someone who was a gaslighter in the past. Maybe you got a couple of people trying to communicate or reach you. And I feel like Spirit is telling you, use discernment, use your intuition. Someone could be trying to break down your defenses as well. If you found that you've had to create some sort of blockage or, you know, boundaries with certain individuals, um, perhaps, you know, Spirit is just telling you to be on the lookout. Because somebody could be coming back, you know, even if it's a karmic that's trying to come back and, and, and just trying to push buttons um just be mindful like don't give them nothing but i do feel like you also you know you have some beautiful wish fulfillments coming in and that could be the reason someone could be trying to you know come in and sabotage you know because we saw deception and envy so someone could be you know very jealous of the fact that you're moving on with your life that you're leaving that you've walked away that you're happy that you're coming into new unions that life is you know improving and on the upswing and they could be coming in trying to sabotage just like the devil does what you have on the bottom of the deck clarifying this 37 6 and this um memories of love and base chakras you got the five of swords so that's what you had to um you know give a time out for was you was dealing with, like I said, a volatile energy. A lot of fives are showing me there was a lot of challenges. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like spirit definitely, you know, caught the culprit that was respond responsible, you know, for, you know, causing a lot of pain, a lot of frustration. You can see this person being arrested up at the top. So it's almost like spirit, you know, um, has already like, you know, has already caught this person. Like this person already received karma. You know, for, for, you know, and remember I was saying something about the three of swords because we had jagged edge and you can see this cheetah has three swords to the back and that was, um, gotta be strong. What was it going to talk about? Gotta be. And it, we started the reading with eight and all of these cards reduced to eight, the 37, the six and the one that's all eight because 37 reduces to one. So that's what you had to be strong because you got backstabbed by someone that you trusted, someone that you loved. You know, this cheetah is a beautiful, you know. That's a, a cat, you know, and maybe this is, you got, you see how it's backstabs and, and cats are usually very impervious to threat, very intuitive. And I feel like the only reason why this person was able to get away with stabbing you in the back is because this was someone that you trusted, someone that you loved, you know, someone that was in your cipher. That's the only way a Scorpio could get got is if it's someone that you know you know, someone that you love because we love unconditionally. We look past all your flaws. We give you the benefit of the doubt. And then most of the time, that's when we, we get got by the people we love. But I feel that's what, the, that's what this situation was. You know, you may have felt betrayed and deceived and backstabbed by people that you love, which is why you have this one base chakra here. So it's like you had to learn to re, um, define what stability was, what family was, um, what security was for you, because the people that you, trusted definitely um you know they they duped you in a sense you know but you've learned you know you've learned we have a method man bring the pain so they brought you a lot of pain you know they was very methodical very calculating too you know when someone doesn't really rock with you like that they're going to be very calculating very you know um it's like secretly plotting and planning your demise is what i'm getting and what we have on the bottom of the deck observer so I feel like spirit, you know, forced you to start using your intuition. There's a bunch of eyes in the sky. So this is, you know, and he's blindfolded. So this is about using your intuition, looking at things from a bird's eye view. Also using, you know, um, you know, speaking energy, you know, uh, you know, speaking energy allows for you to, to pick up on other people's energy, you know, to not just go solely by what people are saying or what you see with your physical eyes, but also by what you feel energetically. And that's the reason why I feel like there were decisions made where you needed to first, you know, withdraw, you know, kind of pull back your energy, disconnect from certain folks and, and, and really, you know, connect, you know, recharge because the water is a very healing element. That's also your element. That's a way that you recharge, reset, recalibrate, rejuvenate. 
but it's also a way um, where you can tap into um, tap in intuitively, you know, and this brought you back into harmony, you know, because this uh, three and eight reduces to 11, that three creativity, that's you reaching that level of self mastery and your angels, you know, were definitely uh, carrying you in the spot. I see two footsteps. And um, so I feel like they were definitely uh, protecting you and guiding you. And this is how you come to the conclusion that it's time to move on. It's time to leave, you know, those volatile situations but alone. Spirit has really allowed you to see things for what they truly were. Kind of remove the veil from your eye, your first eye. Um, so let's tap in. Why is this three? Creativity, eight. Emotional withdrawal, six. Moving on. So you were able to see the ones that were, you know, bringing you pain. You were able to see the ones you know, that were inflicting this pain, do like, you know, almost like kind of like, um, throwing rocks, hiding their hands, you know, kind of sort of, you know, that, that energy. Remember we saw that deception and envy where they were wearing masks. So you was able to discern who those people were, um, by just taking a moment to go within. So this card is sticking out. We're going to take it. And we have this, uh, King of cups. So you now have someone, um, that definitely, this could be even your energy where you are, you know, very much, feeling revitalized after taking that pause after taking that moment what you're attracting to you is another like mine as well so you had to walk away from people places things that weren't serving you and um you know because this 38 that reduces to 12 i mean 11 that's two and then this two is reduces to sit um and the six reduces to eight so i see like you are you know kind of moving on um, taking action to get away from situations that were no good. I also see that eight, like I said, as, you know, just like, you know, action oriented movement. Um, it could be, you know, unexpected news. Uh, it could also wish fulfillment for me as well. But this King of Cups is someone that's made in your likeness. You know, who or what you're attracting to is someone that is, you know, willing to make an offer. He's holding a cup. He's also holding what appears to be like a diamond or some sort of stone. And there is distance between you and this person because I see this boat. But this big smile is showing me that this person finally, um, you know, uh, someone's coming in. You know, someone is definitely coming in. Uh, this could be someone you know because we got groove theory. Keep trying. So this is someone that's coming in that wants to be intentional, that wants to try. Um, you see the clouds are dissipating. So I do feel this person is also, you know, clearing out a karmic cycle. They were also um, going through a moment of just like you know, confusion and delusionment themselves. And I feel like, you know, things are improving, things are getting better. Uh, cause you can see, you know, coming out of that dark period into the sun. And then you can see the cloud, the clouds dissipating right around where his crown, you know, his crown chakra is here. So this is showing in this big smile. So this is someone very, you know, very, um, very much, I feel very much intentional. Um, very much in love even I feel when this person comes this is like someone unexpected but this is someone who's also learned a lot you know they've learned a, a great deal and they are preparing to communicate you know we have the page of swords so they do spy this is like an eye spot they do keep tabs whoever this is they watch and they can imagine and envision like I said you know this uh you know they can envision this whole happy house happy spouse energy they feel like the two of you, you know, complement one another. You know, these these things, you know, put smiles in their face when they think of that. And I feel like they're coming straight toward you. This, this energy is like focused on you. I feel like they did the necessary work to heal. You know, if this is your energy, that's what you've done. And that's why you have, you know, this big smile on your face because you've really taken the time to heal yourself. But if you look this big, um, this is like a horn. So it's like they've had some sort of wake up call. And I see the sword upright, which means they're ready to communicate and express something. They're ready to try, you know, they're ready to try now with groove. I feel like they're trying to get into the groove, trying to get into that mode of um, taking some sort of action. You know, they could be just, you know, doing their due diligence to, you know, kind of learn you, investigate you. There goes the strength card that I mentioned. So there's someone definitely mustering up the strength. And this is what's on the bottom of the deck when we pull the card for what's hidden. And so we have the six. Uh, of wands victory so they do want a victory i do feel that there's a union a marriage i'm and i'm hearing this is like you know this is like almost the last lap you know you see this this uh sprinter you know and i'm feeling like this is the last lap like this is what it leads to is marriage is proposal 
is commitment. This is definitely victories, breakthroughs. I feel like this is like, you know, spirit is really, um, as I said earlier, like recognizing and rewarding you. Spirit is also confirming that this is a sacred connection. Like someone is watching you in the spotlight. They're admiring you. Um, they're seeing your growth, your progression. Um, and with this strength, they are, you know, this is what's hidden is they are, you know, tapping into their power, tapping into their, their, um, into their strength to, to take action. And if you look that jagged edge song yet again, this looks to be like some sort of, I don't know, like a mallet, an ax or something. So I feel like that is very indicative. See that? That's why they're mustering up the strength. Because they see how beautiful you are. They can't keep their eyes off you. This is the Empress. There's a message coming in. That's why they're trying to muster up the strength. You know, and what did I say about the Hermit? There goes the Hermit there. You know, this Hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he or she seeks are found within. So this is that person that's been, you know, in that time out. You know, time, taking time to gain awareness, to reflect, to introspect, to take internal self audits. But this person can't keep their eyes off you. Because you are beautiful, you're just very regal, very royal, very attractive, very mysterious, very, you know, mesmerizing. And this is Wu-Tang Clan and Nas, it's one love. So this person does feel love, this person does feel, um, that's why they are, you know, kind of slowly but surely, you know, breaking free from the, you know, the pride, the ego and surrendering to spirit and finding that, that inner power. You know, finding the confidence to come towards you because, you know, they're going to need it. You know your worth and value. You know, they know you're wise. You know, they know your experience. They know that. And that's why they've been maturing so that they can match your fly, so that they can get on your level. So why is this 91 surrender, 8 power, 2 um, patience, and 5 wisdom here for what's hidden in the energy? This is also you in your energy as well. You know, this is why this person is feeling, you know, the need to... Um, to level up. Wow. A lot of cards. So there goes the hermit. So this is that hermit. Remember I was picking up on the hermit earlier with this energy. And that's the highest number and vibration of change. But this is also what gives someone an opportunity to figure out how to navigate certain situations. So someone is absolutely wise enough to navigate all of these obstacles that the devil is trying to throw um, in your way to block or delay something. This could be someone from the past because this 555 keeps showing me like the six, you know, the six of cups where someone from the past could be trying to distract you emotionally, manipulate you. So the cards that flew out is the seven of swords. So this is like self-imposed mental anguish. This is confusion. This is someone trying to dupe another person, but you're wise enough to, you know, to um, see through the illusion or see through this trap because you can see, you know, these four gentlemen up at the top and then you can see this lion and this monkey is trying to dupe him so he could get, you know, a drink of water. So he has the mask kind of flipped over. And so this, this, this lion is absolutely um, not going to, you know, fall for the okie doke. He's giving him a moment because it's like, okay, yeah, you can sip your water um, and you can recharge. But when you try to dash off, I'm I'm going to, I'm going to devour you, beloved. So this is really like you know, using wisdom, someone is definitely trying to be, um, trying to be, uh, con, you know, cunning here. And this was that person that was, that's now surrendering, you know, surrendering the spirit. There goes the ace of pentacles. So this is that blessing. This is a wish fulfillment. You could have had a lot of people, you know, maybe even in your job or, um, in your field, people that were in competition with you trying to sabotage, trying to, you know, trying to steal from you, steal ideas, steal, steal energy, energy vampires. But it's like, there's, there's a new blessing here for you. This is spirit is giving you some sort of, um, unexpected income. You know, this is unexpected wealth. This is some sort of pay increase bonus. This is financial freedom. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. This is what's hidden. And there goes the uh, temperance card. So there was a need to be very patient, you know, and I feel like you have been, you know, I feel like you've been very patient, but I feel like whoever um, could be coming in to make an offer, that's the reason why there was patience because they had to mature, they had to grow as well. And we see the nine of swords. That's that same energy of the person that was kind of like trapped in fear, 
confused, conflicted. You can see the swords going in two different directions. You know, you could even see this person who looks to be wearing like a gas mask. So this could have been someone gaslighting, someone who could have been stonewalling, love bombing. You know, a lot of confusion, causing a lot of confusion. And that's why that song Guilty was playing. Someone's name could be Dave or E. Someone could be Staten, from Staten Island, Harlem or Queens. I feel someone is also recognizing someone as a queen. We also have this three of pentacles. Someone watches you like a hawk. You know, and this is someone that wants to build and nurture and cultivate a relationship, cultivate a connection. This is that same person that is here that wants to have that happy house, happy spouse. Because they the direction is they're looking directly at you, the way the cards are pointing. So they are looking directly at you and they're preparing to shoot their shot. So this is someone that wants to, you know, build this this whole family vibe. This is someone that sees you, you know, as you know, a soulmate, a twin flame, that yin to the yang. I feel they're rushing in too, because this sprinter is also giving me a sense like they're they're rushing toward you. They're coming towards you. And they do watch you, you know, because you can see that telescope there. So they do watch you. There is distance. And we have the high priestess. So trust your intuition, follow your intuition. I also feel they know that you're highly um, intuitive, like you may be, you know, um, some sort of healer, shaman, light worker, psychic, clairvoyant, clairaudient, channeler. Uh, you could be a scryer. You could read tarot. Uh, you could be a, into, you know, spiritual practice um, or a spiritual practitioner. Um, so you may have divine knowledge, be the keeper of divine or ancient wisdom. And um, that can be another reason why they're intimidated or why they are maturing up to your level. Why it's been requiring timing, divine timing. Um, we have the Knight of Wands. So I also get a sense of like, you know, someone is also, you know, kind of getting rid of the ego. Um, this always makes me feel like someone was just like, you know, kind of flighty, kind of um, immature, kind of in and out. This is that person that was kind of always booking it, running, running away. This could be that karmic energy as well, you know, because this is not, you know, positive energy to me. And I feel like you saw right through whoever this person is. So a couple of energies are, you know, coming through in this reading. I feel the karmic is still kind of lingering. And I feel like that's what spirit is, you know, has been saying in the past couple of readings this time. You know, you got to forgive that person. If you, as long as you hold on to the animosity and resentment, they're going to always be in your energy. But when you forgive them, it's almost like, you know, out of sight, out of mind. You know, when you forgive them and let them go, um, then you open up and make room for the new. The last card you have is the Ten of Cups. So you do have this beautiful, happy house, happy spouse vibe. I definitely feel someone um, that you have not spoken to in a while is preparing to come in. This is someone that has, yep, they're preparing to come in all right. Because you got the Ace of Wands there. And he's looking at this fire. So this is someone recognizing, realizing that you are a wish fulfillment, that this connection is destined. It's the wheel of fortune. So something's coming full circle with someone that has a lot of passion. Someone that's attracted to you. Someone that's about to sprint into action, come towards you. So why is this 85? Thank you, Spirit. That was quick. And look what we have, the Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this up. So someone does see that they could build, nurture, cultivate, plant seeds and roots with you. This is happy spouse, happy house vibes. And I see that there's an angelic presence that's uh, bringing this union into fruition as well. I feel like there's a lot of support. I was picking up on your angels, you know, helping you get over these you know these, these humps if you will um giving you light when you were in a dark place even if this is the person you're attracting and you can see clearly that there's an angel here that's watching over this union i was picking up like this is a spiritual bond spiritual union you got the king of pentacles here this is someone that has the midas touch but this is also a very devoted very domestic very resourceful practical um you know uh king this is someone that's uh you know there they're going to have your back middle and front but this also speaks to, you know, stability and security. This is someone that will take care of their family, someone that is um, protective of their family, uh, protective of those they love. This is also a very wise business person. And what I see is he's like, he has his foot like on that same wheel that we just saw, the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like this person is very successful in business or very abundant. I feel that there are um, or is some sort of news coming in about um, your finances, like you are going to find out that um, you're going to be very financially um, free, if you will. Uh, but you have a lot uh, that's changing for the better with this Ten of Pentacles. 
because uh, you had that movements, challenges, um, I mean finances and material changes rather. And then you have conflict and defeat. So some of y'all, uh, there's definitely a wish fulfillment with this 85, follow your dream. And then this 10 of pentacles topping this off is confirming there's something beautiful coming in with the king of pentacles here. This is a financial blessing um, that's coming in for you. Um, this is someone that's going to really match your fly um, because we have uh, the Isley brothers groove with you playing. So this person is really going to groove with you. They're going to really, you know, vibe with you really well. I feel like they're also getting into the groove of coming towards you. Um, so let's get some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have Watching Me. So this is a song Jill Scott had. Watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me. Oh. So this is what that is. That's an ode to that Jill Scott song. Someone could be from Philly. Someone's name could be Jill. Um, remember we had that um, that song earlier. Oh, man. It escapes me. But yeah, someone's watching you. You have an eye spy. And I just get a sense like this is, um, you know, you might have a couple of people watching you because as you could clearly see, you know, the six of wands just shows, um, you know, that you're in the spotlight for something. So you may have, you know, people that admire you, watching you, cheering you on. And then you could have some haters, some scragglers, because if you think of traditional tarot, the six of wands, um, everybody's not celebrating that person's win. So I feel like you may have a couple of scragglers that could be hating from the sidelines and that's okay. You know, where your attention goes, energy flows. So all they're doing is fueling you, you know, keeping you motivated and keeping you, uh, going. So let's tap in. So why is this 37 time out? Six memories of love, one base chakra and this five of swords here. So a card did flip over as you can see right here. And it says, free dome, no longer trapped, no more mind fuckery. So that's what someone was doing, trying to trap you. Remember, this is the five of swords. So that's that smug person. This is that person that stabbed you in the back. This is that person that was lying, beguiling. Um, definitely jealous. You know, I get jealousy vibes from that five of swords also. But you walked away. You know, you freed yourself. Free dome means that you're free from the illusions. I was picking up someone like gaslighting, stonewalling, ghosting, manipulating. And uh, you're free now. So you're no longer trapped in, you know, someone's games because you took the necessary time, um, you know, to assess the situation. You established boundaries. Um and you definitely block this person off from getting any type of energy from you. What we have here is divine guidance. It says, ask and you shall receive. So whoever this person was that was kind of conflicted, um, whoever this was back in the past that I'm picking up on that is really coming in intentionally may have discovered, you know, because we got this three and it's a very yellow, bright, vibrant card, which means that someone's had some sort of epiphany. Um, they've discovered something. They realized something because remember four, 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 that's 12. So that's the hangman. So someone was put in a sacrificial position to see something, to assess something, hence them going to, you know, kind of refresh, recharge to, um, purge, you know, get rid of, you know, any toxic belief systems, habits, behaviors, but also to heal. And as they heal, they move on. So someone's asked for the assistance or the guidance or just the instruction pe period to move on. And that's why they are, you know, emerging as this King of Cups happier. That's why the clouds are dissipating. The illusions are breaking free. Things are growing for them. So why is this three creativity, eight emotional withdrawal, six moving on, and the King of Cups here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And it says nature walks, nature talks. And this beautiful body of water is definitely nature-esque. You know, so getting back to nature, which is grounding oneself, healing oneself, this brings you back into harmony, backs you in, backs in, back into, pardon me, equilibrium, you know, so that's what brings happiness and joy to me. I always encourage you all, you know, to get out of the house, to get out of nature. I even tell my children, you know, to go take nature walks because it does give you a recharge. It resets, it recalibrates you on a deep level. Um, we got play a player from the Himalayas. Didn't I pick up on someone in the past that was just not emotionally, um, on your level that was playing games. Cause we had Chucky book of games. We also had, you know, I was saying that this was, this was someone that was running and chasing, you know, um, a runner chaser type of dynamic. Well, this is that energy, how they felt about you was they are feeling guilty 
because they know that they was playing a lot of games. Um, and now they see you like, you know, having all these victories, these breakthroughs. And I feel like you activated and triggered them because remember we had that song activated playing and uh, to do their work, you know, to really start uh, working on themselves. You could see them starting to move out of, um, you know, this, this, this shadow, you know, because they're doing their shadow work. So they're coming up out of this shadow period. Um, into the light. So now they are seeing things, you know, clearer. They have this clarity. They're starting to um, find happiness, peace, and joy even. Um, they're even holding this chalice with confidence. You know, it's like he's holding it, prepared to give it, you know, give it to someone. And this arm is extended as if to, you know, provide something solid, you know, something rock solid. It looks like a rock or a stone or some sort of um, diamond, something. Um, and we have uh, Phyllis Hyman. Someone's name could be Phyllis. Um, you know how to love me. So like I said, this is someone that now is open to love, ready to love. The heart chakra is open. They also will speak your love language, especially with you know how to love me. So whatever maturation, growth, healing someone has done is definitely um, giving, um, you know, maturation, you know. So why is this 44 environment for uh, foundations and achievements? Six of wands here. But how this person, I beloved Scorpios, are attracting to them, feel about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is this 44? Thank you, spirit. It says yin yang. I can't make this up. It says yin and yang. So this is your divine counterpart. You also have, um, I am an alchemist. I create the potions and elixirs to life. So didn't I say someone manifested this? Especially with this one here, someone was manifesting. We also had that Mr. Magic. So someone sees you as an alchemist as well. You know, because, you know, that alchemist is someone that creates and shapes their reality. Remember, I imagination and I was speaking to your visualizations and your mind being a projector and you being able to manifest as above, so below, as within, so without. So you are tapping in. They see you as someone who's tapped into your alchemical force to create this abundance in your life. This is also saying you attract what you are. So mind your energy. So with this double number, you're attracting someone who's healing. So, you know, you got to heal yourself in order to love thyself. And when you love thyself, you, that, you then know thyself. When you know thyself, then you don't settle. You know, you don't settle. You only attract what you are. And that's the energy that the divine feminine and divine masculine, they, they exude that, you know, is they attract what they want. You know, so people find you very attractive. You also have, I want to sex you up. I told you someone was very um, passionate about you attracted to you they find you mesmerizing they find you mysterious you know this is someone that's definitely interested what's hidden in the energy we have connect to your higher self so that's what someone starts to do is they start to meditate to get things straight they get out of that low vibration they leave the da -dun -da -dun alone the secret comp competition and they start to really see themselves but this is really you know also that energy of the you know the hangman when you start, you know, when you're forced in that sacrificial position, you have to start. You, you, that's the only way. The only way out of that hangman position is by being honest and gaining a whole new perspective on a situation. Because that's why spirit puts you in the position to begin with. Because you have a very one-sided, one-tracked way of looking at a situation, a way of looking at a person. You know, and so it's like it's it's a teachable moment. So why is this ninety-one surrender, eight power, two patience, five wisdom? Um, this ace of pentacles, uh, the ten of cups, the knight of wands, the um, high priestess, the three of pentacles, the nine of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the temperance here, and the seven of swords for what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios, and then we're going to wrap it up. After we do the outcome, of course. Thank you, spirit. And get that. And this one is kind of sticking out, ready to fall. So I'm going to take that. So it says, A alike, B alike. So this is saying that this is, again, like a yin-yang. So this is someone that's like your A alike, B alike. That's why they feel like they could have this happy house, happy spouse with you. Because they feel like the two of you match one another's fly. Like you're someone that they could build this, this, this family. You know, this is what they've gained the wisdom of. This is what they've had that moment of clarity about, you know, that same sun that's vibrating there is the same color of this card, you know? And so they want to express this. They're starting to realize that you were or are, I should say in present term, that you are a wish fulfillment. And so that's why they are 
you know, um, this is them gaining the, 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 the clarity, you know, and also, you know, mustering up the strength to pursue, but with like minds, you know, that's, that's someone that's, um, you have a lot of synergy and chemistry, com familiarity, commonality, you know, this is someone you have, you know, a lot, um, in common. You may even have similar goals, aspirations, um, you know, maybe even a similar, um, soul mission. And so spirit is like, don't sweat the small things. What's a small thing to a giant, but you also have whatever is in growing is dead live now. So breaking free from, <clears throat> excuse me, throat is getting blocked. So someone's definitely has difficulty communicating, but whatever isn't growing is dead is just another way of saying that if you don't see progression in the situation, then it's definitely not serving your highest good. And I feel like, you know, perhaps someone has had to take a moment of pause and to really be honest. Um, and that's why that, that, that ego had to be deflated. You know, that's why someone had to surrender and stop trying to control. And um, the more you surrender to spirit, the more powerful you become, the stronger you become. So this is cutting yourself free from things that are keeping you stuck and stagnant, even ways of thinking, belief systems, ideologies, whatever isn't helping you to grow and improve and evolve and ascend to your greatest version of yourself. It, it is it is a, a detriment to you. It is it is going to lead to your demise. And so someone is starting to believe uh, in, you know, being and walking in their truth, walking in their, in their, um, authenticity, um, and doing it with, 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 you know, confidence, um, but prioritizing themselves nonetheless. So with small things, I feel like, you know, someone stops focusing on the small things and start really looking, um, you know, looking at the bigger picture, you know, and, and, you know, this small thing to a giant, especially with the 10 of Pentacles and the angels and ancestors watching over you. You know, it's like you can't stress the little things that make pop up that can be very annoying or frustrating. It's like you always got to keep your eyes on the prize, so to speak. So even when these conflicts come up, even when there's certain challenges that present themselves, you have to always think positively and optimistically. That's the only way to navigate those situations. When you start falling into the trap of fear or falling into that spirit of lack, that's when you create more of the same problem. But maintaining and taking that high road and, and, and keeping your eyes focused on whatever dreams and goals and aspirations you have, that's what's going to lead to your victory. That's what's going to lead to you obtaining and accessing this 10 of pentacles. That's also what leads to you, you know, finally having, you know, that, that happy house, happy spouse vibes. If that is one of your um, desires as well. So why is this 85 follow your dreams? This five conflict, mental conflict, um, financial and material changes, obstacles and challenges here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. It says people hate what they can't duplicate and fear what they don't understand. So this is what did I say about people that were very jealous you got Fugazi here. So you got a couple of people that could be trying to cause this conflict. Remember that 15 deals with the devil. So you got some folks that could be trying to secretly plot plan your demise. So be mindful of that because they, they're jealous of your success. They're jealous of the fact that you've come out on the other side unscathed and they're somehow, you know, um, they could be struggling. But with this Fugazi and then it says your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension hater alert so you got a lot of haters because this is the cards that's on the bottom of the deck but remember you had four 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 and three 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 show up so there's no doubt about it that you all are chosen that you all are definitely uh here to you know incite change you're here to make change and when you have a purpose when you have uh, a destiny um you're going to always run into you know, this type of volatile energy, these, these type of, you know, self hating self deprecating ass people, um, who like to project, you know, like I said, when people try to, you know, to, um, accuse you of things that you're not guilty of, um, it speaks more to who they are than it does you because how someone feels about you has, that's none of your business. Um, that's all on them. They could feel what they want. Spirit is saying, choose wisely. Everything that glitters is not gold. So what did I say about you're going to have some options, but I feel that you have someone very genuine because it's obvious that you have a yin yang, uh, dynamic. Some of y'all might try to, you know, you might get duped by that player, you know, that person that was trying to play, um, you know, and I feel like that's that karmic energy that keeps trying to creep into your readings. Uh, so you're going to have to be able to discern because someone is definitely coming in with the intention to dupe with the intention to sabotage, 
um, with the intention to um, manipulate uh, you in some way. And so you have to be very wise. You have to always be in your power and you also have to always use your intuition, intuition, um, because you do have someone that just, you know, they, they can't understand how you still standing because it says they hate what they don't understand and fear what they can't conquer. So they can't conquer you. Why? Because you're in your power. You know, your power, you know, your worth now you're no longer fallen. You know, that's, that's one of the things you did was take back your power. And now, you know, the people that some of those folks that are sitting there acting like they're cheering you on, those are, those are the biggest, those are the main ones hating on you. The ones saying, oh girl, I'm so happy for you. Oh God. Oh man, dude, like that song was dope. Or like whoever these people are, they're fake. They're fugazi. They fake as hell. You know what I'm saying? They smiling and beguiling. And we saw that with the mask. They are envious and they are jealous, you know, you know, they're envious and they're jealous of you. And it is absolutely because you are. Um, everything that they are not, you know, you're everything that they are not. And, and that's the thing, you know, that really frustrates people when they can't, when they can't stop your glow, you know, they're jealous of your mind. They could be jealous of, you know, the fact that you're kind, they could be jealous of the fact that you're alive. They could be jealous of the fact that you got your, you, you're living your, your truth. You're living in your authenticity. Uh, they're jealous of your soul. You know what I'm saying? These are lyrics from a song by Cleo soul. Um, you know, they're just jealous cause you know who you are and they're still, you know, living in, 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 in la la land, wearing masks and walking around with these false, these, this false facade, you know, but this is a beautiful reading Scorpios. Keep your head on a swivel. I don't think I have to tell y'all that. That's why you, you don't cut these folks off and out of your life. I feel like they are definitely, cause remember you had watching me, watching me, watching me on this deck when we first pulled it. So, like I said, you not only have secret admirers watching you or people that are interested in getting to know you better um, that are watching you, maybe someone from your past you're familiar with, because I do get a sense of you knowing someone, even if it's not in this lifetime, maybe in a former lifetime, you know, but I do get a sense you also have other folks that you are no longer in com communication with that just hawk you. They, they hawk you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They're in your mouth, <laughs> like they're freaking dissecting your life, nosy as hell. So just be mindful of that, but also give them something to look at. This is your season. Shine on, shine bright. But I love y'all. Happy solar return to anyone who may be celebrating today or tomorrow or for the rest of the week. If I don't get to uh, put another reading out for you, enjoy your time. Do you definitely prepare yourselves, make room uh, because something beautiful is coming. Someone beautiful is coming. Opportunities are coming. Wish fulfillments are coming. And I'm telling you, you you're going to be so elated and you're going to have a couple of haters that are going to be really salty. They're already salty. You know, I think that's why you kind of cut them off anyway, but this is a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation with me, check the Etsy, uh, check my description box. It'll take you to my Etsy shop. And um, you could go ahead and uh, book your consultation there. For everyone who has already booked, if you don't mind, can you please um, go to the Etsy and leave a review? You know, leave a review. Let people know what your experience was because that really, you know, that is like good promotion. Um, that's free promotion for me. You know, I, I don't want to just tell people what I can do. I, I would love for those of you who have booked a consultation with me to really just share your experience. Of course, you don't have to get into detail or go into detail, but just let people know, um, you know, how you felt about your reading, leave a review for your reading. If you've already booked, um, that would be very helpful, but I thank you all so much, uh, for tuning and tapping in until next time. Send a big fat ashe yo, happy solar return, happy Scorpio season. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Peace.